Hey guys, how's it going? Dr. Julian here. So today I wanted to give you a brief overview of what you can expect at an orthodontic office. I'm going to go through with you some of the things that you can expect at our first consult visit to when you actually start getting your braces or Invisalign and some tips that could really help you out throughout your braces or Invisalign journey. And without further ado, we'll get right into it. So first of all, when you visit an orthodontic practice, you'll actually come in and fill out your forms with the reception. We have to create a chart. We have to make sure that you are healthy and we will look into your insurance plans to make sure that we can get the most out of your benefits and so on. Even if you don't have insurance, which is actually more than half of the people who come through our doors, we can work with it regardless. We have flexible payment options that are interest free. Uh -huh. So we'll talk about that more in detail when you actually come in. Once you filled up your chart, our friendly assistant will take you in to get your imaging done. And this includes the extra oral photos from the front smiling as well as from the side and also taking two sets of x-rays. The one is called a panoramic x-ray and this one goes around the head and the purpose of this x-ray is to see the number of teeth or if you're missing any teeth for instance um, as well as if there's any primary teeth that are still there or if there's any impacted teeth which means teeth that are supposed to come in have not come in yet as well as looking at if you have what's known as periodontal disease if you have any bone loss so and we can all see that on this x-ray. Right. The second set of x-ray is called a lateral cephalogram and from this x-ray we can actually tell quite a bit of things. For instance, the inclinations of your teeth or commonly known as flare teeth. You can also see the relationship between the upper jaw and the lower jaw. That can actually be very helpful in determining sort of the treatment mechanics that we'll be using when we start your braces or Invisalign journey. As well, for younger kids, we can actually tell sort of the growth period or growth stage they're actually in and that we can do so by looking at the next bone or the cervical vertebrae and this x-ray really helps us to time the right time for your braces journey for your kids after you have taken the set of x-rays we also take a itero scan and this is a special scanner that actually can fuse a bunch of pictures into a 3d image and with this image we can really magnify and see all the details of your teeth so once all the records are taken the orthodontist will actually review it before meeting with you and and the treatment coordinator will be there helping us to facilitate uh, getting all the information together and will specifically note the type of malocclusion that you have, whether you have an overbite, deep bite, if there's any missing teeth, if there's any other uh, dental concerns or gum concerns that we should be aware of and so forth. And after all this is done is when we come to our treatment mechanics. This is a combination of the patient's desires as well as our recommendation for your specific case. For instance, since braces are suitable for all types of cases ranging from mild to severe and whether you need jaw surgery or not braces have been around for many many years and it's a proven very effective way for all the cases however more and more patients are now choosing to go with Invisalign option you know the main benefit of having Invisalign is that it's nearly discreet and you can still go about eating those hard candies and popcorn and also flossing the same way as if you had no treatment. So the pros and cons of braces versus Invisalign I have covered in this video so you can check it out later but regardless so it's a two-way communication myself as a professional I'll give you my take on the opinion as to which modality would work best but we also take your input you are the single most important factor in deciding on your treatment plan so once the treatment plan is set then our treatment coordinator and the receptionist will help you to go through your payment options so a lot of patients prefer to pay it in monthly installments so that it makes it more affordable affordable for payments. Usually orthodontic treatments do last about a year and a half to two years so you can divide it during that time period or if you want to pay it up front all at once or if you have insurance then even better. So once that's finalized you'll go through the informed consent in regards to your treatment and this has to be thoroughly reviewed before starting your orthodontic treatment. So once that's out of the way now it's the time for your actual braces or design journey. For braces 
videos, the appointment usually takes about an hour to hour and a half and we actually have to install each bracket onto your tooth in a specific position and this is where the fun part comes is you can choose the elastic ligature colors that's going to go on your braces. You can also wear your airpods and listen to your favorite music so that you can pass by time quickly. The actual procedure is painless but it will start hurting after you get the braces on so be prepared and make sure that you have buckets of ice cream at home which you're gonna indulge in because cold actually relaxes the wire that we use for the braces so that you'll actually feel more at ease. Uh -huh. Of course, there are over-the-counter drugs such as Tylenol or Advil that you can take if the pain is more than what you think. Once you have installed your braces, you're gonna go to your receptionist and book your next appointment. And braces or Invisalign journey is actually a continuous process which will take about a year and a half, two years on average. So it's critical that you don't miss your following appointment. And usually the adjustments will be every four to eight weeks, but this will also depend on your specific case. For Invisalign, of course, because you don't have any brackets or wires, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get these attachments. And because they are tooth color, they are also nearly discreet, but they act like handles so that the aligners can actually help to move the teeth in a more effective way. After a few visits, usually we start you on what's known as elastics or rubber bands. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. And this one helps us to further get our bite into more ideal position. And this will also depend on what type of malocclusions you have. Could be class 2 elastics if you have a big overbite, class 3 if you have an underbite, for instance but this will depend specifically on your case and it may change throughout your orthodontic journey. After finally persevering through all your appointments, wearing your rubber bands and making sure that your hygiene is up to date, now finally it's the day for your braces or Invisalign to come off. When this happens, we usually give fixed lingual retainer, which are the wires that are permanently cemented on the top and the bottom front teeth, as well as a clear upper retainer, which you're gonna wear at nighttime. And people always ask whether it is necessary to wear the retainers for life. We say try to wear it as long as possible or for as long as you want your teeth to be straight. And the benefit of wearing the retainer goes beyond keeping those teeth straight. It actually acts like a night guard which helps to protect the teeth from grinding and wear. Try to keep it very clean and I recommend that you keep it away from pets because make sure that you keep the retainers in a case when you're not using them because if you put it on a napkin, someone will definitely throw it away. After this, we check you back in about three months and that is your final check, making sure that all the retainers are in place and uh, you haven't broken any lingual wires and your teeth are still straight. And finally, you are ready to graduate from the program. In conclusion, the orthodontic journey is totally worthwhile process that's going to get you the smile that you want but also get you a better function and health for your teeth and overall general well-being. Specific details regarding your treatment really depends on your specific case and make sure to have a consultation with an orthodontist for embarking on your orthodontic journey. And that's it for this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!